Unfortunately, Oville McKenzie has withdrawn from his scheduled fight against former WBO Cruiserweight champion Marco Hook. Now, in a time where fighters seem to be withdrawing from fights with alleged fake injuries, that's how it seems at the moment, and it seems to be very, very common, the fact that Oval McKenzie, of all people, has withdrawn from a fight, you suspect that this has to either be a genuine injury or some other very serious problem. Because Oval McKenzie has made an entire career out of taking fights at short notice, of taking fights when he's not 100%, when he is carrying injuries and whatnot. This is not the kind of guy to be pulling out of fights because he chipped a fingernail. Ovil McKenzie is an old school, have gloves, will travel type. Kind of like Glenn Johnson used to be back in the days. So you have to imagine he's genuinely ill. He's actually pulled out because of an illness. That's the uh, official statement. He says he's seen medical professionals. He has an illness. He can't go through with a fight. And obviously, McKenzie must be very disappointed because these are the kind of opportunities that he thrives for and lives for. So he has to be very disappointed unless, as I say, he's pulled out for some other reason and they've got a better opportunity for Oval McKenzie in the pipeline, which is a possibility. But I tend to suspect that this is just a genuine illness that McKenzie has and he's been forced to withdraw. And it really must be some pretty bad illness because as I say this guy has fought with injuries and illnesses and all types of stuff before you know and particularly when he's got a big opportunity like this he definitely don't want to let him you know let him uh let it pass him by sorry so if any of you have got any more information about the situation with Oville McKenzie please drop it in the comment section below let me know or let us know exactly what you know uh enlighten us in the comment section because uh you know I really I'm quite disappointed that this fight is not going ahead. Don't get it twisted. I was expecting Marco Hook to win, but Ovin McKenzie kind of has a cult following among British boxing fans and people always root him, you know, are rooting for him and cheering him on and what have you. So I was actually interested myself to see the fight and see what happens to see where Marco Hook's at as well, if he's got anything left. Uh, anyway, drop your comments in the comment section below, people. Let me know how you feel about this particular story. And as I say, if you've got any more information about Orville McKenzie and what's going on with him, then enlighten us all in the comment section. All right. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.